really what we're trying to do is replicate uh, the strains on the boat that it'll experience when it's sailing. You know, that's essentially, the, the big ones are all the standing rigging loads. So there are four stay loads, there are shroud loads, there are main sheet loads. Those are all um, applied through the boat in the connection points. So we want to look at proving the structure around the four stay bulkhead, for example. Um, but also when we combine those loads together, look at the behavior of the boats bending and make sure that the, the global structure of the boat can also withstand those loads. So really, yeah, just trying to capture all of the big loads that we'll experience when the boat's in the water. And when we're putting the boat under this massive amount of strain, we want it to be as quiet as possible so we can hear those little ticks and pops and identify when those are sort of normal settling ticks and pops and when that's progressing from that to indicating a more extreme level of damage. So, you know, we, we want to be able to, you know, our, our best sort of sense of, of measure of that is being able to hear it happening um, before we see it happening. So the, the loads that the boat experiences aren't really correlated to how much the boat weighs because the boat's very light. It's designed to be as light and strong as, as we can make it, really to react to the loads that we put through with the sail plan. So when we go through a bare weigh load case, which is testing the max compression of the mast ball and sort of the, mast, the max bending of the boat structure, is around 60 tons in the mast ball, which is somewhere around 10 times the, the overall displacement of the boat once we have coil arms in the rig and the sails and, and all of those things in the boat and sailing configuration. There is a requirement to structurally test the boat. It's, I mean, it's something we would do anyway. It's something we're not, we're not doing it because the rule requires it, but the, the rule does require we prove it out. We prove out the structure of the boat with some sort of comprehensive structural testing. It doesn't define how to do that. So it's on each team to come up with their test layout.